Hey guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making my grandma bar's meatloaf. We're gonna finish it off with this sweet and tangy glaze from one of my favorite childhood meals. Yes, good old classic meatloaf. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is saute my veggies. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil in my skillet and then I'm gonna dump in some onions. I'm gonna add in a little bit of green bell peppers, dump those in. You can add in some yellow bell peppers if you want to. Then we're gonna add in some celery because mm -hmm, that celery and onion and pepper, yes, it just goes so well. Then we're gonna add in some red bell pepper, okay? Dump that all into your little pot, get it all nice and sizzling hot. We're gonna kick, kick, what is kick? We're going to cook this until those veggies are nice and tender and smelling the bomb then we're going to add in that garlic and we're going to cook that garlic until it's all golden and fragrant in your kitchen is smelling like oh my god so good like that that's perfect nice and tender ready to go set that aside okay now i'm going to add some dried up breadcrumbs into the bowl i'm going to add in just enough milk to kind of moisten up those breadcrumbs if you don't want to use milk you can use like beef broth mm -hmm. you can use that too if you want to or even some heavy cream or even mayonnaise will work. Yeah, meatloaf is so forgiving, that's why I like it. Okay, next I'm gonna throw in my eggs to kind of help bind everything together. I'm putting in a ton of spices because I like my meatloaf to be well seasoned and stuff. I don't like no bland meatloaf. I have some melted butter in there. Okay, just go ahead and stir this all up. Then I'm gonna add in my, um, what is that? Your sauteed veggies, yeah, your sauteed veggies. And I'm gonna stir this all up, and you guys, I forgot to add one thing. My tomato sauce, oh my God, I hate when I record a video and I like miss a step. Pretend like I'm adding my tomato sauce, okay? So I'm putting in my meat, but you wanna do this step last, okay? And then I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my dog on tomato sauce. So what I did was I tried to sneak it in there. Once I had it all mixed up, I tried to sneak in that um, tomato sauce, but yeah, it worked out fine though. But yeah, try to um, add your meat last because you really don't want to handle this meat a lot because the more you handle that meat, it's going to get all tough and dry and we don't want that. So you want to mix up the ground beef just until everything is combined and leave it alone. Let it go, sister. Okay, just let it go do not overwork it I always do a little test patty just to make sure the seasons are on point and once that test patty is done and it tastes the bomb then I'm just going to add my little meat mixture into my loaf pan just plop it on in there just like that okay I'm gonna smooth it on now just to kind of get it nice and even make sure everything is you know packed down in the pan just good Okay, that looks great. So now we're gonna make a sauce to go on top. I have some ketchup and tomato sauce in that bowl. Next, I'm gonna add in some brown sugar and some spices to kind of get it tasting, you know, really, really good. Okay, next I'm going to add in a little bit of prepared mustard, a little tanginess in there. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of honey because that's what my grandma said do, okay? And next I'm going to add in a little bit of liquid smoke, okay? I like to have just a little faint, you know, just a little faint smokiness to it. So I added in a few dashes of liquid smoke and that is done, honey. I like how you can see all the little, you know, vegetables and spices in that meatloaf. Yes, so good. All right, go ahead and spread on half of this um, glaze mixture on top. You don't have to use it all. Just put like half one here. I'm gonna bake it at 350 for about one hour. And halfway through, I kind of added some more glaze and then returned it back to the oven. And when it comes out of the oven, here you go. It's all pretty and juicy. You can drain off some of that fat that will be in the pan. Add some parsley. Let it cool off before you cut it. If not, it's going to tear all up if it's really, like, really soft. And that's it, you guys. Really easy, classic meatloaf. It is so tender, but yet it is firm. I love a firm yet tender meatloaf. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Later.